Hello, friends. Welcome to the Storyteller of the Night channel. As always, like our video and if you are not a member of our channel, click the subscribe button and press the bell icon next to it to be the first to know about our videos. As always, this story is narrated by the sender is based on reality and the names of the persons have been changed to respect privacy. I am a 37-year-old woman who looks back now and seems to have come out of a hard battle. My body and mind still need to be repaired and cared for, so that I can forget those events and become a normal person. I lived in one of the central cities. I was an oppressed and quiet girl from a middle-class family, and from the age of one, I was the son of one of our relatives who lived in Tehran and every sometimes they come there, I like it. I always wanted to be Akbar's wife. Akbar was a good-looking boy. He would turn red whenever he saw me and seemed to freak out. I can't be with anyone. Who is this suitor? When I asked my aunt who was supposed to introduce the suitor and I insisted, I found out to my surprise that Akbar was coming to propose and it was like giving me the world. I just wanted to be his wife. They arranged a wedding for us locally in the same neighborhood and Akbar and I, who later found out that he was in love with me, went to Tehran to live with Akbar's brother. His family was in Tehran and they lived there. Akbar had just finished his military service and was an Asaloi. He had found a job and I was supposed to live at his parents' house for a while so that we could save money and go to our own house. They were of old blood, his father had died, and his older brother, his brother's wife, and his mother lived in the same house. And the room next door was prepared for us and we started our life in a small room. In the beginning everything was fine and Akbar paid attention to me. I tried to do the housework and show myself as a good bride. Because we didn't have a mobile phone, at that time he would call us at a special time and we would talk to each other. At first, this situation was okay, but then I would be tortured in front of his brother, his wife, his brother, his mother. I couldn't talk. After that, we talked and he allowed me to go to the telecommunications office and call him from his home phone. From that day on, whenever I went to the telecommunications office, I saw them there. They used to tease me and make me feel embarrassed. One day, when I came back from the telecommunication, I had not yet entered the house when my brother-in-law, who was a shopkeeper, opened the door behind me and entered the house. He is doing this to me. He pulled my veil off my head and took my hair in his hand. He beat me and bruised my whole body and cursed me because you didn't raise an eyebrow for us. You are making a date. Now you are playing with our eyebrows. He beat me so much that I couldn't walk for four days. My whole body was bruised. They didn't even give me food anymore and told me to stay in your room until your husband comes and your duty is known. My wife is my mother. It's as if she has me. They beat me. They didn't say anything. They didn't come forward. I was saying, why didn't I do anything? It was there that I realized that one of those boys liked me and started talking about me in the place that a woman like this with these characteristics comes every day. They say it behind my back and it reaches my brother-in-law's ears. He comes to me as dishonorable and shameless, and he brings those troubles on me. My Akbar came back and he beat me because I trusted you, but you played with my eyebrows, whatever. I said that I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything wrong, but it didn't help. I was locked in the house. I didn't even want to talk to Akbar on the phone anymore. I didn't even want him to approach me. I called my parents to come and take me away from here, but those poor people who lived in the city said that life is like this, you can't do anything, make all your lives like this, try to listen to your husband and don't make mistakes. 
He used to fight with me for any reason and beat me, which I shouldn't have tolerated anymore. My terrible life continued there for three years, and I endured it for three years until I made mistakes in everything I did. I was beaten by my brother-in-law. Due to an argument, he threw a glass and hit me on my head and I fainted. They were very scared. I had to be taken to the hospital. It was there that I met a nurse named Mrs. Madavi. May God bless her. She came near me. She was heartbroken and said, What's really wrong? I'll help you. I told her everything from the first day. And it was as if he was an angel of God that God had put in the way. He quickly informed the police, and I explained everything to them. Mrs. Madavi gave me energy and said that they should not and have no right to do this to you. You should file a complaint for me. I will write in the file, and I will file a case for you, and we will send you to the forensic doctor, but do not hesitate in any way and get your rights from that family. Finally, with the help of Mrs. Madavi and her support and guidance, I was able to separate from that brutal family after two years of struggle. I had returned to my father's house and took my dowry to stay because of how much they slandered me and how many bad words were said to me. But I came back and fell in love with Ms. Madavi so much that I decided to study and become a nurse and be able to help people like her. This time, my parents supported me a lot, and with the help of my brother and his support, I was able to study in my own city. Now I am a nurse, and thank God, I am happy with my life. And I'm still afraid of those days, but I thank God for putting an angel like Ms. Madavi in my path. I knew nothing about life, and without her help, I could not get rid of that damned family and save myself. Her name is in the story. I didn't change. Maybe one day he will hear this story and know how much he changed my life and how much I owe him in my life. I just hope that wherever he is, he will be healthy and whatever he wants from God. Dear friends, thank you for liking and leave a comment to support our videos.